great saves there by the goalie. Sorry, we've just had a few Ooh. technical issues. A New team. The goalies just had their work cut out for them in that last couple oh, of minutes. The tempo is definitely up in this game, though. And it'll, it'll be interesting. Brighton seem to have a bit of a pep in their uh, their step. They're running back for the ball. Just seems like they're a bit hungrier for it. It's uh, definitely easier to come out with uh, nothing to lose and just really, really go for it in the second game. Oh, a little shovel shot. Good save there by the keeper. I think it, uh, it's a bit, bit cooler than last week, which probably helps with uh, getting it, being yeah, able back to run in, up and yeah. back. This game definitely looks like there's a bit more running up and down compared to last week. And uh, it definitely sort of had an impact late in last game with uh, Brian. They're, uh, they're certainly looking for Jack on the interior. Great Good defense check. there again. And here we go, back the other way. Three on one, probably shouldn't drive. Smart decision to just hold it out, get some subs. Wouldn't be surprised if they uh, go to go to Evan on the bottom corner here. Skip it across. The experience of uh, Jack Woodford there. I'm oh. Sure, as Gaspari probably likes what he, what's on here. Just use a bit of body and another great save from the keeper. But um, they've got oh, one back. Good clear. Good save there by Brett again. Wouldn't want to cop one of those shots by Anson, that's for yeah, sure. Well, I mean, he tried to beat him for pace, but he yeah. probably should have just placed it. Kieran, just a bit of experience with uh, holding his body between the ball and the man. Not sure who number 14 is for Brighton. Brayden, you might know. Uh, I think it's a... Uh, oh, good defence. Uh, Braden O'Brien by the Ethan looks of it, I think, maybe. Anthony, sorry. Oof. Jeez, there's a, there's a bit going on There is on a bit going on here. in the background. Bit of a hit off the ball from, uh, it looked like Brighton first, but yeah. I think the retaliation of... I mean, uh, of, all the, of all the people, Dave's probably not one of the blokes <laughs> I'd try it on with. But, um, you know, all the power to him. Do what you want out there. You're yeah, probably I think, just going to uh, get a penalty for it. I'm not sure who... If he's refing that, but it looks like it looks like they'll both be getting one. And and a uh, new rule that I learnt last week: if you both have penalties, you can just sub people on. You don't actually have to play yeah, man down. To, yeah, crazy. You still sit in the box, but it's yeah. all it's all the five on five stuff yeah. that they do. They don't make them do more running, which is <laughs> crazy. They cancel each other out. Yeah. Or, uh, but it is a uh, bit of an advantage for the Raptors because they get a full 30 seconds for their shot clock again. Yeah, shot clock reset. Yeah. So, yeah, I think we've got the replay here. Gaspari with a really nice feed on the left hand there. He, he was, uh, um, drew the double there just a little bit, waited and then popped it inside and, and bottom left. He had a, had a couple of nice pick and rolls that he, he played similar to that in the first quarter down this other end and he just he holds the pass. He doesn't throw it too early yeah. and just waits right until the end, make sure they don't get unnecessary pressure on them. Bit of an underrated, the old Gaspari. Oh, great pick up there. And a, another good save by Brett. Yeah, I mean, when I think of Gaspari, I definitely think of the big outside shot and yeah. the ability to just, yeah. you know, ball through Hits people. Hits corners as well. But yeah, I mean, the, the vision and, and timing has been really, really good. Good work here by Brighton to get this ball back as well. Uh, definitely slowed down a bit. Using using their experience in players like Eben Locke and, and Jack Woodford. Oh, that's a great. That was a off the bar. Really, really good um, play there by Brighton, but um, unfortunately didn't pull off. As they're going to try and use a double, but Raptors will just settle the ball down. Take a bit of time off their shot clock. Probably a matchup we get quite a bit. Bit of a got a good view on that. That shooting was shooting through players. That was going right into the top corner. If oh, got great the kick off there by uh, Josh Harris. Josh yeah. Harrison. A bit of a three on two. Probably looking at settling a little bit. So that defensive know-how just sees the passing lanes got up in it, and you know, oh, geez, wouldn't want to leave him alone right there, would no, you? No, definitely not. But that was a very good hit there by uh, Anson Carter. Bit of a defensive clean. lapse. Yeah, we, do, we like to see bodies hitting the floor. We don't, <laughs> don't like to see it off the ball too no, much. No, definitely not off the ball. As our penalties are released there. So they go back in. Still five on five. Oh, a beautiful hitch, but just got tied off just, a little uh, bit. As we've got 
Tony would blame it on the grass monster, but I, I don't reckon he was at fault. Ah, uh, shot before then, but they've recovered the ball well here. And some good defense. Brighton are um, mm, well definitely looking as they've got numbers. And a big save there by Brett. That was a great save. They don't much like faking, do they? They just pick a spot and yeah. try to do it. So we've got between um, Jack Woodford and Jesse Winnan. Just a bit of a shut off as the other four are playing. More of a one-on-one -on -one game by the looks that the Raptors are doing. Well, Anson when, Carter just playing really solid defense there as well. When when Gaspar is off, they don't they don't necessarily nah, they're have not... a go-to guy other than Jesse. So if you can stop Jesse getting the ball, mm. it's probably a good good strategy that they're employing. Definitely some uh, faster running this game. Yeah, <laughs> Last absolutely. week did not have this much fast running in it. No, a bit of, bit of pep in their step. Well, game two. All or nothing. Whoa. And a great shot there. Anson the Carter lefty again. jump shot. He's got, got a few tricks in the bag. He's got the lefty jump shot. He's got yeah. the, uh, the righty crease dive. What can't he do? We're going to look at the replay here. How um, just really slowed the ball down, Brighton did. That's what they're good at. They can get it into attack very, and, very quickly and, and then slow it down, and that, that's when they change the tempo. And I, I, it's, it's just nice not being one-dimensional, you know? <laughs> they're, they're not, they're not yeah. limited. They've, they can adapt on the fly, and I think it's just, you know, like you're saying, so many veteran old heads out there that just know what they're doing. Back on. Dave Gow's back on. Kieran's back on. So this is definitely the five that probably just understand what they're trying to achieve better is one on one with the goalie, pick a spot, make him move. And looking at the replay again, you just you just see the um, the movement of the a bit of a two man game. But as as Dave goes up, sets a pick, Kieran just sees the outside lane and then pops in for a, a lefty shot, bottom right. And it, it was just beautifully placed. He didn't try to shoot it too hard, and he just popped it right in. And you feel bad for the keeper on those ones where they have to move and you know as oh, soon the as they wings. do. As soon as they do, they're just popping it straight in the close corner. <laughs> oh. Again, Brighton just coming up with Ooh. that ball. Cheeky little behind the back. Might come off, might not. Didn't look like it did. Oh, good check. Good check there by uh, Jack Woodford. Jeez. As pressure's on. This is uh, definitely quite a physical game. They're certainly not letting them have anything easy. Got to love the physicality when it comes from both teams. Oh, what do you call yeah. as an umpire in that? Or sorry, I should oh, say referee. Absolutely, absolutely nothing. It's just good box lacrosse. And uh, these two teams have definitely... There's no has it been the last there. four? Four oh. grand finals? It's been these two? I wouldn't be surprised. They're, they're perennial contenders, the two of them. It's an outside shot, but... Went for the, uh, went for the oh, close Oh, nearly pipe. a good... Good pick up there as Ryan comes in with the with the check. And straight into Cam Semler, who Cam's known for his defense. Yo. As that's gonna go back over. So this will be a Raptors ball. It's just uh it's a hard lesson in just picking the ball up the first time, you know? Don't fluff around with it. Put your head over it and pick it up. We'll see uh, Raptors with the last sort of 30 with uh, 31 left on the clock. You'd, uh, Probably just got to slow it down a little bit. You, you'd hope take the get clock the away. Here. If uh, wouldn't want to give Brian another look at it. Brian again, just slowing it down. They've still got about ten seconds left, and a oh. uh, great defense there by. Uh, I can't see that Anson Carter yeah. again. He's uh, definitely getting his money's worth. I was impressed just by Last the, the four catch seconds. off the wall. And a, a big save as a, uh, we go into half-time at a 3-4 game. Yeah, it's a great game. We'll There's just... A um, uh, lot going on. We'll head to the, uh, the sponsors, I'd but, um, yeah, we'll come back for the third quarter. Love to hear from our sponsors.
My name is Chris McGurr and I'm excited to be supporting Lacrosse SA in 2022. Our goal is to provide 50 property loans and save our supporters $50,000 through refinance. For every new Lacrosse supporter loan or refinance settled, your club will receive $250 in sponsorship and if we hit our target, that's $12,500 going to Lacrosse SA clubs this year. So reach out to me today on 0480 311 301 or email me on chris at 180finance.com.au to find out how I can save you money today. All right, welcome back to the second, no, what are we? Third, third quarter. Um, very interesting game so far. We've only got a 4-3, another low scoring game. Goals, goalies are playing uh, just big positions in these grand finals, but both these teams, they turn it on when they want to. Oh, there was definitely a lot more scoring in the second half of last game, and I, yeah. I anticipated it to be the same this game. Um, you know, you get a little bit tired. You don't happen to play yep. as good defense. They might get past you and score a couple more goals. But in the in the games like this, that's where it counts. Oh, absolutely! It's the it's definitely the team that puts in the most mm. effort and, and plays the smartest. That's gonna gonna come away with the win down the stretch in a one goal game. As uh, Raptors have come up, these center possessions are obviously quite big as well. So Raptors coming up with the ball here. Definitely can't go wrong getting first use of the ball. As um. Oh, that was a good little inside, but I don't think Cam was expecting it as uh, Evan runs this ball down. Going to slow down again. Jesse, uh, Jesse had me fooled with the wind-up. I thought <laughs> he was going to shoot it. Just uh... So Brian are playing very wide, if you, if you notice. Know they're, they're pulling... Um, Raptors aren't really baiting yet, but they're pulling out their, their gameplay and another... That was, that was going Great top right save. corner. Yeah. Good save there by Brett. Very good save. Oh, oh. another BTB. Love to see it. He's pulling out As, all the um, tricks. We've got... Uh, who's this coming up with the ball? 
I'm not sure. Got to get it over the line, but um, nice and safely. So again, Raptors just slowing it down. So it's where Jesse likes to attack. For. And scores. Yep. Well, I mean, why I'll attack you when you can just stand there and shoot it? You can comment on that one. That was fantastic. <laughs> I'd like to do that more often. As we go to the replay, uh, Brett's just uh, heading off. Having some sort of... Butt issues with his issues. pads. <laughs> Walking off. Yeah, so something's <laughs> going wrong in the uh, behind the area. area. <laughs> some, uh, some pads need tightening or... I, I don't really want to speculate. Yeah. I was like, that, that last shot hit him in the top left shoulder so yeah, uh, <laughs> and, it, and it was coming at pace the power the yeah. power of that shot you heard the oomph <laughs> wonder if they have a, an allocated amount of uh, special injury time yeah, for, for these nah, sorts surely. of issues hey that that goalie padding that is a challenge in itself to just, walk around in not just playing well, yeah, getting, a, getting it on I getting it on getting it off staying in it it'd be hot it'd be very hot <laughs> Vision? Yep. Squatting? <laughs> nah, we, uh, it's a tough position, but these two guys right now are making it look easy. They were, they were phenomenal last game, and I think they've been phenomenal again tonight, but the shooting's just been a little, a little bit better. Mm. And I think they've, to their credit, both teams have adapted after seeing how well the goalies were, and yeah. they're just trying to not even give them a chance. Well, if we look at both of their... their um, by the looks of their game plan. Brighton are pulling the ball out. They're playing around with the ball for about 15 seconds. Then they're, you know, playing their two-man game. They're trying to score in that sort of last eight seconds of their shot clock. And it looks like Raptors have come out then and they did similar things. So they've used sort of 10, 15 seconds of their shot clock and then looking at that two-man game and trying to attack. Raptors seem to be uh, getting under the, the ball a bit better, so slipping inside. Yeah. But um, I think Brighton are just... They're going a bit harder at that two-man game. They're really trying to push each other, push their defenders off to create free hands for a shot. Yeah, absolutely. I think I think Brighton are looking better out of their own stick, and uh, the Raptors are looking better with their, their inside feeds. But and we've got uh, if you look at the way that they're starting, so Raptors are starting three in defense and yeah. only one. Uh, so it's to, to try oh, to avoid a, try to avoid just that situation. I again, reckon. Anson Carter with a nice little fake. Beautiful hitch, gone straight past, but uh, Gaspari was waiting. He wasn't falling for that. Don't know how uh, how many people would take on uh, Ryan Gaspari, but oh, and they've just let Anson go in the in the middle. But um, and he did throw a fake that time. As uh, as Bombers come up with it again, these loose balls. Bombers just seem to be getting these loose balls, and they're wanting it a bit more than um, than the Raptors. As another good shot on the keeper. That's another great save down low. As Ryan. Uh, Collects the ball, but throws a, uh, no one is there. Pass. They want to get this ball over. They've got 10 seconds. They're going to have to throw it up. That's got to be 10 seconds. Close. Or just... Or oh, no, just... Oh, no. We've got some... Uh, all sorts of checking going on. Oh, uh, Jack Woodford. Just that... that Level of level of skill. He just he's fantastic at picking up loose balls. Just seems to be in the right so spot at the right time. These Brighton guys aren't aging. Oh, <laughs> They're going backwards. It's, well, <laughs> it, it, Tony was saying that Answer's moving around better than just about his yeah. ever seen. <laughs> As uh, Raptors again slowing it down, Ryan Gaspari down the middle with uh, heavily guarded by Anson, but. He's a great, he's got both hands, Ryan. He can go left or right. Probably had that as a, shot. As a good shot there, and no one's in. That was, uh, that was how they scored their first goal, actually. Ryan, Ryan took a lefty shot, and someone, someone picked it up in the crease and just, you know, clinically finished it off. Yep. As uh, Jesse's picked that ball up, and now there's a, a penalty coming. And uh, just a one-hander, but they're going to get the ball back as uh, Eben, uh, I think, just copped him in the neck it right in front of the keeper. High, Unlucky. Yeah. Um, and I reckon Eben was giving him a cheeky hug there too at the end. <laughs> just saying, oh, sorry about that, mate. 
You can hear the fans in the background. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll have a have a look at Raptors man up here. Extra man offense is always my favorite kind. And it's drawing you, in. Because you fortunately similar to a wheel looking for an outside shot. Step into the shot. Oh, and that's um good stick. It's got to stay in for Ouch. Oh, that's um that's actually very very smart play by Brighton. We'll see what happens. Oh, oh good what a pick, pick off, off there. Here we go. So they've got four on two. a and uh, another outside shot <laughs> as we go to the replay. Unfortunately, I think he shot it just a wee bit too fast, and I might not have got the got the camera back. But we we, we know the gist. <laughs> Jesse shot it; it went in the goal. I was like, oh yeah, oh no, there it is. Yeah, the lag on the on the switch. <sighs> it's too good. Shoots the ball too hard. So again, we see Raptors lining up with three in uh, in defense. I guess is, I'm not sure if that's Jack Woodford in there, but he's very solid. He'd probably be one of the best face-off players in the competition, even in field. Oh, absolutely. Um, so it's very hard to, to beat him. And as that just proves it right there. He is nearly and, impossible um, to beat. And, and one of the things that I think sets him apart is that he can win the face-off, but a lot of face-off guys have a stick they can't throw with. Yeah, he can 100%. go down and just put it straight in, the, in an attacker's stick on the fast break or, or in the goal himself. Yeah. And it, he'll do it. And he can, he can play as uh, we've got a bit of a double here, yeah. and that's a great double there great by... Check. by um, Brighton, oh, but no. good save. You've got to finish that one, and just bad angles there. Had time to step in front, could but have, could have gone for a twister or you know fully stepped around on that one. Just needed to. As move Brighton now a settle, more. you can see Anson uh, just controlling the ball at the top here. Taking some, uh, taking some deep breaths. Still, still taking deep breaths. He is. <laughs> Off the ball. Certainly not feeling like sobbing. As again, Jack Woodford just using body, which is coming away with it. Probably going to settle again as uh, more Brighton. Like I said, they're running back faster. They want the they, they want this one a bit more, I think. Um, it certainly does seem that way, but you know, if they're if they're not going to use their subs. As Ryan just uses, and again, big save. I think Brian probably need to just get through a few more rotations with their, yeah, their, their best their players bench, off. Yeah. yeah, I mean, you want, you want your best guys to be oh, fresh at the end of the game. Oh, great check there by Ryan Gaspari. He wanted that ball back. And and that's that's sort of what I was just meaning. Jack looked a little bit tired there and yeah. maybe didn't didn't run as hard as he could have because he has been on for probably you know a good seven or eight minutes straight. Oh, Ryan just using a little bit of a, a Twizzler and... Probably a bit too. Uh, uh, we're going to have a penalty uh, here by the look straight yep. in the back. Yeah, you can't push someone straight in the back like that. If yeah. it's towards the side, you can get away with it, but yeah. right in front of the uh, the referee. The in the rear was a uh, pretty pretty, pretty obvious clear one. Clear <laughs> there, yeah. Guys, guys looking up to wait to get the ball, yeah. and you just run straight at his back. A, that wasn't even a, a, a that was off a shot. So yeah. yeah. You don't want to set your teammates up for a hit like oh, that. Oh, no, that's a hospital pass, you know. As again, we see Bombers' defense. So it looks like we've got fresh legs on um, for the Bombers. And Whoa. a great shot Very there by nice. Kieran Sandor. And you heard it in Cam Semler's voice. He's happy with that one. It's good to see that they've got different options. Last time it was Jesse trying to skip it across the bottom corner. And this time they just, just sucked it down. And, and he just kept stepping in and nobody come replay, to it. replay, you just watch... Here's a few steps in. Great over the shoulder shot. Made sure to hit the cage, made sure to make the goalie save it. And it I don't think I uh, don't think the goalie was expecting the shot there. No. As um, again we see oh, lots of good pick up there by um, Cam and we're gonna see Raptors with the ball. Now I think we're back to oh, now we're still in a now we're back to even as they uh, settle, but it looks like this is going to go over and just going to have to flick it out. But great pick up there. And it looks like he was in the crease. So a bit of momentum on that, that running through. Yeah, it went for the between the legs shot there, I think. As uh, Brighton again. So they've got, they're subbing quickly, Brighton. 30 second rest to get their more experienced team back on. So despite the 3-1 uh, advantage Brighton garnered early, they're finding themselves down 
So uh, the Raptors have fought back really well here, just playing oh, their own game. Oh, they've just left that open, and a good save there. Great save. Reset here, so another 30 seconds. For just going to see how this affects the way that the offense is going to run. Um, but I'm not sure if there is a reset. As a goal by Cam Semler, they definitely have options. That was that low to low worm burner, and it looked like it might have just kicked a little bit after the bounce. So we got a bit of, we got the replay here. It's quite a long shot though. Yeah, it was a long way out. I reckon he might have challenged Jesse for the, the <laughs> furthest away shot. It was very nice. Bit of an underarm there yeah. by Cam Semler. As we see that jump out to a 7-4 lead with two minutes to go in the third quarter. Just, just, just can't contain their offense. And just a, a bit of momentum here. Cam coming up with the ball again. Going to settle it down. As we see... Uh, bit of an off ball. Bit of an off ball. Uh, just fumble there on the... Uh, and Jack Woodford using his body to come in again. He got out of it with the... Eben just uh, churning it on a little bit. They're uh, Eben's uh, is uh, not happy. They're uh, they're down. But Anson Carter here just working his magic again. Is uh, the experience of Anson just um, stepping up as we see a shot a bit too high. As uh, we looks like it's hit the top nut nah, in the crease. Can't go there, no matter which version of the game it is. <laughs> well. You can in the women's uh, now. Well, 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 I mean, yeah, they, they got that rule where <laughs> if you're did, defending yeah. someone, isn't it? Oh, uh, hidden ball trick here. Darv's definitely got the ball. Darv, Dave. Good, good uh, save there by the goalie. He uh, didn't fall for that. He knew that Dave Gow had the ball. Well, Jackson probably could have turned and watched the ball. And uh, got to stay over. So, Raptors with the ball again, with 30 seconds to go. I have to imagine they'd be feeling pretty confident at this point. Just trying to get potentially another shot off, and they have. So, another two-man game. They're just, I feel like it's almost just teamwork. It's it just, is, They yeah. just know where they're going to be. They've come out, so Jesse's uh, drawn as if he's going to drive in down the inside. Dave's popped in the middle. And, um, yeah, good shot between and, the legs. And just on the defensive side there, the guy was defending Jesse. Jesse stopped moving to make that pass. He could have got on his hands for sure. And we've, uh, we're going to go into three-quarter time. With a 8-4 so eight, lead. 8-4 eight, lead to the Raptors as we, uh, yeah, definitely a different quarter to the second. But we'll, head, we'll hear from our sponsors and uh, come back to the last. My name is Chris McGurr and I'm excited to be supporting Lacrosse SA in 2022. Our goal is to provide 50 property loans and save our supporters $50,000 through refinance. For every new Lacrosse supporter loan or refinance settled, your club will receive $250 in sponsorship and if we hit our target, that's $12,500 going to Lacrosse SA clubs this year. So reach out to me today on 0480 311 301 or email me on chris at 180finance.com.au to find out how I can save you money today. Back with the last quarter. And it's uh, it's probably shaping up to be uh, an exciting one. Very exciting one. Brighton are going to have to push the pace to overcome this deficit. So there's going to be lots of shots flying. 
And again, we're just saying before how quickly these 12 minutes actually go. Um, and I think, uh, yeah, if uh, the Raptors can hold this defense, which they are, it, it just that makes it really hard. But again, if you let someone like Jack Woodford get the ball and... Get into uh, the middle, yeah. That's what Brighton are going to need is, is uh, Jansen Carters, Eben Locke, Jack Woodford. They're going to have to do a, the, a lot of extra work um, if they're going to sort of edge back this lead, but also stop Raptors from scoring. And the, the, Raptors are, the Raptors are clever about who they target on defense too. If, you know, if Anson and, and Eben and Jack stay on for, you know, say eight minutes, they're probably going to target them on yeah. defense every possession too. They're Just not with that tightness. So yeah. we see Ki Kieran holding the ball here and then hands freeze. And that's what you don't want. I think, what's a Tony call him? Silky? Yeah, Silky Sander. Yeah, uh, yeah. Not happy with that one, but uh, we see Brighton coming back down with the ball here. So Anson again, free hands. He'll take a shot if he can. But looking at Jack Woodford, little little uh, shovel there. Don't mind those. As Raptors come down with the ball. And uh, again, just slowing it down. Yeah, definitely, definitely part of their game plan for this fourth quarter would just be to absolutely milk this shot clock for yeah. 30 every possession. You know, they'll probably be trying to shoot in the last sort of five, six seconds of the shot clock. If they can get the rebound, they'll get it. And uh, as a... Uh, you know, worst case, the goalie gets it. And then, what, they've got to spend, what, five, ten seconds trying yeah. to get the ball up the court? And, I mean, already in, in that, uh, that this time, it's already been two minutes. So, it, it you know, these, uh, the time does go super quickly. I'm sure it wouldn't feel like that when you're out there. But as Jack Woodford winds up. Does a nice little hitch and roll. But um, <laughs> good shot there. Oh, over the shot, a bouncer into the top corner. Jackson Stock, that was beautiful. Jackson Stock. Going to the replay on that one for Jackson. That was a, a great shot, and I think uh, no one came to him. No. He had the laneway. Good read on the... Oh, we just missed that one, but... Um, Good read on it, and uh, yeah, bounce shot into top left corner. That'd be very, that's hard to save. And now he's taking the face off, so he's uh, hopefully just going to go Feeling two for two here. Confident just, as Brighton oh, again come up with again. the ball, so a couple of quick ones. Just mishandled that pass, but that's all right. They've got possession, which is what they need. First use of the ball. And they've got uh, Evan Locke and um, Anson Carter on, so as they look. Good check. We're looking at... Looks like there might be a penalty. We've called anything or no, I don't sort. think they... Uh, refs are Deliberating. calling someone or they're saying something about someone. <laughs> someone <laughs> definitely fell over. Someone fell point. over. Someone got hit. Yeah. But no one's in the penalty box. <laughs> something may or may not have But happened. there's four on five. <laughs> five on four, sorry, I should say. So uh, uh, someone, someone's going into the penalty box. Once he, once he can undo the little latch. Yep, there he goes. All right, we haven't seen. A so bright, as we uh, front man up here, be interesting to see what option they go for. They've got their sort of uh, five on four setup. Jackson was feeling uh, himself. But um, it's going to be Raptors ball, so it'll be interesting to see what they do with. A five on four, probably looking at doubling, but no one's gone for it. So look, Raptors just being a little cheeky here, picking up this ball quite late. Oh, Jesse missed it. Wow, can't believe he missed it. Just um, just a bit of tactics, a bit of annoyance. As uh, they're looking at doubling. Make them really work for it. But um, Ryan's probably got a bit of body on this as he uh, will run out of it. We've got... Oh, and gets through. So we'll see if he uh, they shoot. Potentially no shot. And just rolls it away. But uh, Brighton are going to want to pick up the ball. No one's going for the ball. Time time wasting at its finest right there. Just the That's about 45 seconds, I reckon. We're down to seven minutes to go. We've got an 8-5 game, and Raptors are still a man down. So... Anson's on, uh, we've got Jack Woodford on and Eben Locke. So these three are the ones that are going to have to work hard if they want to um, edge this score back. And 
shots like that. So come off that's the keeper. Hit the keeper. So that's a reset. So we got five on three. So five here. on three now. As uh, Anson probably looks at uh, just a little bit of a mishandle. So that's not what you want. Um, you want to make sure you're picking the ball up as. Oh boy, this would be the nail in the coffin, wouldn't Jesse it? Jesse, we're, we're going to get some fakes here. Great save by the keeper. Probably too many fakes in that. I would, uh, say, I would have said that's too many fakes, and it could, uh, it could hurt them in this. Nah, good save again. So keepers just showing up. Showing up. Why are they keepers? This, this last fourth quarter. So now it's a, it's an even game. So. Anson's just behind the goalie, but I don't know if looking, he's called that all looking clear. Looking like the all clear here. Raptors have picked the ball up. Brett's not happy. Brett pointed straight away by the looks of it, saying that he was in the crease. I don't reckon. But it looked good I mean, to me. I mean, we've got a replay, but... Do they want to come to it? Do <laughs> we have a replay? I don't think they like that very much. All clear. All Anson clear. Carter. Anson Carter with two so three sides. So do we have sides. the replay? We might might be too too long. No, he takes it here and then he goes. Where's his? I reckon he's all right. Oh. Oh, we got a little bit of a lag spike there. <laughs> Jeez, they've just so, cut, uh, they've cut out the important part. <laughs> we just don't want to throw these uh, refs into nah. disrepute here. So uh, Brighton are doing what Brighton do best, and they just keep edging away at this score, so Raptors need to continue attacking as, as Jack Woodford comes up with the ball. He's run into his own player there. Yeah. Couldn't get out of his own way. Good defence there by uh, as Anson's probably going to wind up here and another good save. Anson really wants his ball back, so some big, big hits happening. Well, there's uh, not much to be, to be gained by leaving anything in the tank. Potential championship on the line here. And another good save there by Brett. So, as a... Oh, and oh, a good knockdown. Good but I think they do have anything. a bit of time to... To just lob it at the goalie. And see Ooh. what happens. I mean, it didn't Again, get, wasted 20 seconds in that, didn't, so... Didn't get a stick on it. Could have gone in. Could have, yeah. Oh, he's, he's done that before. I know. <laughs> At end of quarter, he just chucks it up there. And, oh, look at that. We've added another goal. So, uh, as we see, a bit more of a younger three working with Jack and... Um, not scared to shoot. No, nah, definitely not. And you know his what? own player there. They've got nothing that they should. As Kieran uh, just good, misses that one. Good defensive rebound. Here we go. Two on two here. Two experience against two experience. So straight that into probably wasn't Ryan. It. Yeah. <laughs> Got to go uh, around the defender. So we've still got an 8-6 lead with the Raptors. As I'm not sure who's got the ball. Oh, Jesse Whitten's got the ball Jesse's at the moment. Jesse's just taking the, taking the punishment. Taking the heat from one of the, one of the young kids. <coughs> as a... Uh, and another big hit, Ryan no, Gaspari. That and get Cam Semler right in front as Jesse went and picked that up. And Cam, no, nope, minimal fake. Did you see the minimal he fake? He did. He just picked it and just Popped banged it. it straight in the corner. <laughs> but I tell you what, what about this bit of bit of flourish on this bounce pass? He didn't. He yeah. could, didn't want to just pass it to him normally. <laughs> he yeah. picked it. He would have picked it off. So St stick in the lanes. The uh, just made sure of it. Brighton with the break, but oh, a really no. bad missed pass. So that that's gone out as well. You'd have to think Brighton probably score on this possession to uh, to keep the game alive. Oh, and Evans Evans lost it from a great check. So and then just a cheeky little pass over the top, and Raptors will just do their thing. and Experience in the Raptors on. So we've got, you know, your Ryan Gasparis, Kieran... So, uh, we've got uh, Jesse, Josh. Um, so we've got a few. As great save there by the keeper again. So Brighton are going to have to start um, probably pushing and, and having some risky shots and risky plays. As ever. But Jesse's dispossessed him. I mean, I'll probably probably get the ball to Anson next time. I reckon. Yeah, Anson. It seems to have the bit of the hot hand, even with. Um, Last game, it was dangerous as well. As uh, Jack Woodford's just coming in, he wants his ball. He's going to try and push him over the line. As probably two of the biggest blokes in our competition. He's lost lost the stick though. And again, they're just going to wind down this uh, this 30 seconds. So 
And look You're at that. They're even, the they're even just getting back on defense, too. And, right, and that's a that's a good... Uh, that's hit the net. Does it count? Uh, no, because it's behind. I guess so, not. No, nah, that doesn't count as a reset. So we've got a minute and a half to go, but look, it's Brighton. It's so I'm not... I'm not I'm gonna say not them out, I'm not doing a I'm not doing a Tony Watts. I'm I'm just happy the ball's in Anson's stick. Yeah. And uh straight into Dave uh, Gow by the looks as uh Raptors will run this out. They'll probably probably the both both of the teams um the, cl the closing the, five. The closing yeah. five of each each team. Um just trying to make sure that uh And again, just running out this 30 seconds. So the clock doesn't stop, unfortunately. And, you know, Brighton just need to... They, this last 35 seconds, they've got to take some risky shots. That's really just need to start shooting. Pretty much just got to shoot it now. Just got to shoot. Just shoot early. Don't want to be holding the ball. Like that, Ooh. Ooh. Eben. That was so beautiful. you'll just... Uh, we've got a stop clock now with 20 seconds to go. That was a great quick stick by Eben. That's a good look to, uh, you know, do the drive, drive left-handed, come back up, peel back around, and, and find him cross-crease through quite a few sticks. Yeah, he got doubled, but he still was able to, to see Eben. Yeah. Uh, Ryan Gaspari is a little bit too slow there, so we've got 20 seconds on the clock. He's going to have to win this face-off, but Jackson Stock is pretty bloody good at face-off, so... As we uh, see a bit of a... Oh, and just He's been tangled up. Been... We've got my time for a, a time, out. Yeah. time out for the Raptors. Yeah, you don't see too many of them called. With 15 seconds to go, probably unnecessary, but that's my opinion. Um, <laughs> we'll, we'll say that. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, it's just rubbing it in a little bit, isn't it's it? Not, not, not necessary, but uh, yeah. I just wanted to make sure of it. I mean, this could be a thing for Brighton. If they can get the ball back, they've had time to talk about their 15-second tactic to get two goals to two, go into two overtime. Two quick shots off. Gee, you'd love overtime, wouldn't you? Can't go much better than overtime. No, Golden definitely goal. not. And so there we go. Got, uh, but uh, we'll just see what happens. We've, uh, we've got... Uh, Two seconds on the clock. And uh, probably one last shot, but uh, we see the Raptors take out the series of a, another grand final win. And yeah, as you can see, the players going down to Brett. He had a great game again. 2-0, um, I mean. Definitely they were, they were a more dominant. physical game, this one. They were dominant on the offensive end, but the, the keepers really showed up just to just to keep this game. Like no nobody got in double digits the whole series. No, they, just, they didn't. Just doing an absolute cracking job in front of goals. They must have faced fifty shots each and you know, to only let in that few. Yeah, but from both keepers, um, great game. Hard to pick. I mean I don't know. I, I don't know that I can. This is where we need a. This is where you, this is where we need Tony. We need an impartial third <laughs> party. Is what we need. Um, Hayden, what do you reckon? Hayden uh, has Hayden's no opinion. Nut. That's Hayden, not Hayden's um, What are our stats? Do we know what the stats are? I mean, we know that Brett had a lot of saves, but we also know, you know, Anson had a great game. Anson did have a great Even game. Even Jack Woodford had a great game. But Jack. when you look at the Raptors, you've got, yeah, the likes of Kieran who stepped up, Cam, Brian. Um, you know, James Mullins even stepped up. Brett obviously had a phenomenal game. I mean, the... Can, can we go to a vote? The, the game really sort of just just got <laughs> a fan vote. Put your yeah. hand up for this, put your hand up for that. Put your hand up for this and that. Put your hand on your head if you believe this. Um, I mean, the game really got broken open through that, that middle, middle yeah, section. Yeah, premiership quarter. They say the third quarter is the premiership quarter. So, they, they you were, know, it's, it's quite hard when you've got, uh, I think it was, what, a 4-3 lead to Raptors, uh, sorry, to Brighton at half time, and then 8-4. So Brighton didn't even score in that third quarter. Well, and that, in a, in a tight game like this, when goalies are on, um, it's, it's very challenging to, to have that. I'll, I'll go my vote being Brett. Um, that's just me personally. I think when you have a shutout, 
quarter in a game like this, as well as only letting in seven goals. Um, you oh, know, it's... Oh. I agree with that. Yeah, pretty I, pretty outstanding effort from him, especially with the likes of your Jack Woodfords, oh. your Evans, Anson Carter. You know, they had to shoot from behind the cage to well, get their shots in. I think what puts it in perspective for me is that both both keepers had fantastic first halves last yeah. last week. And yeah. Brett didn't start out well this week. Jack had two of his first shots go in. Yeah. And so they went down 3-1. He didn't drop his head. Yeah. They then went on a 7-1 run to go yeah. up 8-4. 8-4, So let yeah. one goal in after letting in the first, you know, yeah. three. Everyone it's, has a, a bad two or three oh, minutes here and there. It's just a, it's a great, great, great sign that you can, you know, keep your head higher and, and go uh, on that sort and, of run. And keep going. So um, we are going to have presentations as e, the Raptors came away with two wins. So um, there's no game three. Sorry to everyone's disappoint for next week, but there will be no game three. Um, we will jump into an ad break. We'll try and get Brett over and then we'll jump into the awards. Sounds good. My name is Chris McGurr and I'm excited to be supporting Lacrosse SA in 2022. Our goal is to provide 50 property loans and save our supporters $50,000 through refinance. For every new Lacrosse supporter loan or refinance settled, your club will receive $250 in sponsorship and if we hit our target, that's $12,500 going to Lacrosse SA clubs this year. So reach out to me today on 0480 311 301 or email me on chris at 180finance.com.au to find out how I can save you money today. Today, the man of the match, but I think it's a man of the series from last two games. So, well done on another win. Finals How does that MVP. feel? <laughs> I'm not sure about that. It feels great to win. Yeah. Um, back to back. Um, but, yeah, I don't know about player of the series. It's just a real team effort. Um, 
Couple of big saves. Uh, we saw you got hit in the left shoulder and then ran off with a, a, a butt pad issue. Oh, no, so no, the no. <laughs> oh, okay, even worse. That <laughs> is an issue. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so happy, yeah. happy you don't have to go to game three. Very happy. I think yeah. probably everyone is happy again next week. So no, it's not too bad. To no. Done and, um, yeah. What yeah, was different? Really proud of everyone. What did you find different to tonight? Because obviously you were you were down by a, a couple of goals uh, in the start, and then that third quarter you just had a shutout quarter. So something mentally that you switched on or just um, had a good um, chat at halftime? We're more conscious about just keeping the player back and uh, just uh, yeah, stop the fast breaks. Um, and I think we just kind of did what we normally do and just kind of try and yeah, make yeah. things out. They yeah. had some good fast breaks. They had a few nice little pumps at the start of the game. Um, but you just have to adapt, and I think that's probably what we did best. Yeah, well, we'll let you in there enjoy the moment with the boys now. So, well done. Congratulations. And, um, yeah, enjoy next week off. Very good. <laughs> no worries. All right, we're just going to um, jump into the presentations for those still on. So we're going to go through a few awards um, and then we're just going to jump straight into the presentation of the Premiership team. So we're going to hear from some of our sponsors and they're going to present our awards, which is all for us and our sport. Um, but we will hand it over for the presentations. All right, so we are just going to welcome John from Young Real Estate here to present our awards. in two seconds now to get this awards underway but a little private word uh, from myself we've been supporting you guys all year we've seen a fantastic season you guys have been playing and I can't uh, thank you all enough for being here and making today what it is so congratulations to the winning teams here today and uh, and have a great season for next year and this year year uh, but uh, for what it's worth have a merry merry Christmas and a happy new year that we're all rolling into but Tim over to you Zach Tremlett, Peter Tremlett, and uh, Rick Smithson. Uh, best and fairest for the whole season. Uh, it's a joint winners. Kai, who isn't here, but we have got one guy that's here, uh, Ryan Gaspari. Now, now the All-Star medals, no? All -Star medals. No, it wasn't. The best and fairest. MVP. Okay. Yeah. Now, here we go. We've got, we're going to go for the All-Star team. Unfortunately, there's not many of the members here, but we've got three. <laughs> it might as well be Ryan again first. Yeah. Ryan. <laughs> Cam Semler. 
and Anson Carter. Next one up is the men's indoor league highest goal scorers, and it goes to Anson Carter. Cheers, Tim. And the men's most valuable player. Ryan Gaspari. Hey. <laughs> now we're coming up to the main ones. This this one's for the uh, minor premiers, and it goes to the Raptors. Yeah, yeah. Do, you to, do you want to say a few words? Yeah, no? Yeah. No? Of course you can't answer that. And Ryan Gaspari. <laughs> <laughs> no, just wanted to, on behalf of our team, firstly thank Young Real Estate, uh, Lacrosse South Australia, the officials, even though I'm your harshest cricket playing you guys, because it's tough, it's hard, it's always a good contest, and... Uh, yeah, once again, you guys came up trunk, so uh, well done. I just see so many young guys out, really, really good. I know that it's been uh, a pretty stagnant, no, I wouldn't say stagnant, it's been the same guys out a lot and we've been contributing a lot and not really knowing where the next generation is coming through and it's really, really great to see all this. Uh, you just now shout them yeah. come up and yep. this gentle, sure. I'll pass the medals over to this gent. Do you want to start yep. shouting them up? Uh, yeah, let's start. Ryan Gaspari! <laughs> We'll get Brady out last. James Mullins. You come up last, mate. <laughs> Louis Dale. Jesse Winnen. Uh, oh, yeah, and myself. And we got to get. Congratulations. Well, thank you very much. Thank you. Oh. All right, everyone. You can see in the background a big congratulation to the Raptors for the season 2022. All right, well, that is it from us. Uh, it's been a pleasure having Charlotte final winning night. Uh, thank you to all you viewers and, of course, all the, all the fantastic players that have made it possible for us.